What is going on guys, it's your boy Slick, and as promised, I will be talking about a good event lineup. Now this is the lineup I was using all day on stream to grind the event task out. I'll show you how far I've gotten in five hours of grinding. Um, I, I would say maybe halfway, maybe a little less than halfway there, but uh, you know, it's been going pretty smooth. I've had a fantastic time ending up on top of the team getting massive kill games. I mean, let's just take a look here so we... Oh shit, accidentally joined a replay, but uh, I've been having some really good games ending up on top of the team. Here we have a seven and four, uh, six kill game, and most of them were pretty much on top of the team, and that's what I'm striving for. So my lineup is pretty cancer, I'm not going to lie, it's pretty much a scumbag lineup, but I still manage to be effective with it. And if you guys do this, the only thing I ask is don't J out. Don't be one of those guys that J's out and hops into a plane. Play your best in whatever vehicle you're using. But for my lineup, I took a 5.7 German lineup, made it cast heavy. So we put the HE219, the Top 152C3, and the D13 in. And I used the Pack Puma off the start. So I rush a cat, use the Pack Puma to its greatest ability, and kill as many tanks as I can. As soon as I die, I judge the air situation and spawn in a plane suited for killing tanks. Uh, 219 hasn't really seen much use today. Mainly, it's been the two Focke Wolves, the Ta uh, having that 108. Does it have a 108 or 103? Yeah, 103 in the nose. I always get those two 30 mils mixed up, but it's fantastic for killing tanks. It's fantastic for killing planes. And the reason you want something that can kill planes and tanks or uh, in a plane is you get the highest score from air battle or being in an airplane. Killing planes, killing tanks from the air, uh, killing air from the ground will give you the most score. Now, you want the most score because the higher up on the team you, you end up, the higher chances of you getting parts and crates are gonna drop into your whatever, your hangar or your workshop. So you wanna end up on top of the team and this is my best method. Now this will work for any nation. Just bring something fast and speedy to get the caps. Don't be an asshole. Uh, don't steal caps from your team. There's plenty of cap space to go around. It's just so you have enough to spawn in the plane. Now obviously when you spawn in a plane, preserve your life, kill as many ground forces as you can, but planes are the priority. If you see a plane, you should go for the plane. Kill the plane, you'll get more score from that. And uh, so on and so forth. So that's basically been my lineup for this entire grind. You'll get defective parts. Now the defective parts are what was broken on the plane when you initially test drove it and diagnosed it. Now they'll disappear once you disable a, or once you disassemble a defective part, right? It'll disappear. Uh, don't panic. That's fine. Happens for everybody. There are three different types of crates that you can get. There are crates that just hold toolkits. There are crates that hold either camos or toolkits, like a higher number. The max you can get from one of those crates is 10 toolkits. And then there is a part crate where it will give you random parts. So that's how I got this horizontal stab or horizontal stabilizer, horizontal stabilizer, and the rudder. So what you want to do is just end up top of the team. Get your crates, open your crates, stack the toolkits, disassemble everything you can disassemble, and then you'll get to a part where you have to reassemble. So I'm, I'm in the reassembly part. Um, I need an electrical equipment to make the equipment portion of the plane. Um, I need some toolkits and flight control surfaces to get the controls together. And I need some toolkits to make the flight control surfaces. So as you can see, uh, I'm gonna need four toolkits. I could build the flight control surfaces and then I'll need five more toolkits and then I'll be able to build the entire controls of the aircraft, which will then uh, mold with other portions of the aircraft, like the engine, for example, and stuff like that. Anything with a little magnifying glass in the top left corner is something you're gonna have to uh, continue to dismember or disassemble or examine. And then once it loses that in the corner, that means it's something you can either assemble or it's a part to go into an assembly. So everything grayed out here is something I have to assemble. Everything that doesn't have a thing in the top left corner is uh, are parts that I can use for the assembly. So hopefully that gives you a little bit more explanation as to what we have to do for the 180S and the rest of the vehicle vouchers. Uh, if you didn't know, I found out on stream today, you can test fly all of the vehicles or test drive all of the vehicles. The Merkava in particular is really cool. 
Uh, we'll just preview it right here. So in case you didn't know, you could actually preview this and look at it and see what's going on. This is how you do so. And uh, it's really cool. I'm, I'm very excited for the entire Merkava grind. I know it sounds weird. A lot of people are complaining about it and they're upset, but I'm a glass half full kind of guy and I, I'm excited that this vehicle is added to the game. I mean, look at it. It looks so cool. Not that fast, and I don't think it's going to be game-breaking in terms of how good it is. It's it's not really that good, but it has a decent reload, has a decent gun, has decent armor. It's kind of trolly, to be honest. The, the armor looks a little trolly. And it'll definitely be a fun premium... Well, it's not premium. It'll be a fun event vehicle to see on the battlefield. I mean, in Merkava, it's so much different than the M60s that we're used to seeing on the American team. It should spice things up. And that's the same for all of these vehicles. I'm really excited for all of them. Uh, most anticipated is probably this VFW. This thing is going to be sick. It gets a 5.2 flat reload stock, so that can go all the way down to probably like 4, maybe even 3.9, uh, depending on your crew skills. So it'll be super cool. I'm excited to see these things in the battlefield. This is a long 88, by the way, in case you're curious. And uh, the pen is 220 at 5.7, so fantastic. It's like a NAS horn on a little bit faster of a chassis. It is actually pretty fast, and you have either 360 degrees of traverse, or if you get the armor modification, which is right here, the side skirts up, uh, it'll put the side skirts up, and you will be a basically a casemate tank destroyer. It's obviously huge, but all of these vehicles, I think, are home runs. I think they knocked it out of the park with how cool these vehicles are. I'm super excited for them and i'll uh, show you guys some gameplay of me grinding these parts out and it's on so i'm gonna spawn like i said the pack wagon we're gonna drive the pack wagon to sea right off the rip all right so we made it to cap we're just gonna chill here cap for a second see if we can get any side shots on these guys too bad the pack puma doesn't have the best the best uh Gun depression. I'm really good shot on this guy. There we go. That's what I need. Need a little bit of that in my life. You know what I'm talking about? Alright, let's go down. Let's see if I can get a shot on this guy that's going to be. Go halfway down the hill. I saw that, that there was a PT-76 coming up too. Oh, we could definitely get a shot on this boy. Beautiful. T25 down. Oh, another tank. Let's see what that is. Oh, it's a jumbo. Oh, shit. Get out of the way. That's why I really like the pack boomer for this event. It gets a really good gun. Like, the gun doesn't feel underpowered for this tier. You're going to shoot a lot of people on the side anyway which is fantastic. And then on top of, you know, shooting people in the side, getting good kills, you're fast. You can go cap and everything. It's another jumbo. I don't know what he's shooting at. He was shooting at that jumbo, I think. I might be able to get a shot. I might die. Never know. Oh, there we go. Beautiful. It wasn't a jumbo. Just M4A2. We had a plane coming in already. You know how that goes. He didn't want to drop. He didn't have the cojones. We got T-34 coming out of spawn. Just trying to secure this area. Again, I'm, I'm really not using this lineup to try to be a cancerous player. Um, but when I die, like, like that, now it's on. We are in a plane now. So, uh, since there's another plane up, I'm going to grab a D13 with a 500 kilogram. We're going to try to take the planes out first. Like I said, planes over everything. It will get you the most score. So, we're already doing decent on top of the team, but these guys are catching up. So, we're going to go after the plane. Where is he at? He might have went down. Oh, there he is. All right, so we'll go for that plane. Two up. I'm going to try to kill him and then ditch my bomb. He might make it easy for me.
There we go. He's down. I would like to ditch my bomb, but I missed where he was at. Plane's already in. It's a 51. Now, major thing to remember with the D13, if you're going to use the same lineup I'm using, the bombs don't need to be used for vehicles like this. So let's see if we get a double kill here. Oh, no, I'm dead. I got one of them, though, at least. Drop the bomb. Maybe someone has spawned into it. Who knows? And now we're going to jump in the TA. I'm just judging by what's going on here. So we'll hop in the TA 152. So what was that? That was a one ground target and a plane. Let's see how many how much score we got from that. Yeah, so we're already almost a thousand points over the next guy, which is good. So we'll keep up the pressure. Of course, a win is a bonus, and I've made uh, over a million SL today doing this as well because it's a majority premium lineup. It's fantastic. It's it, it just you earn a ton of money, and you're also getting free vehicles while you're at it. Oh, beautiful! Yes. Beautiful. All right, he's down. This guy's in spawn. Let's go for him. Another plane up on me. Oh, that guy's dead. Wow, I just wasted a lot of shots on that. Don't get a ton of ammo in this thing. So you got to count your shots sparingly. All right, let's go after him. He got hurt a little bit. Hopefully he'll turn. Oh, he looks like he wants to go for that twin engine. I love it when they do that. Turn a little bit. Yep, beautiful. Hit him with a couple of shots. Let's see if I can get him. Oh, beautiful. Teammate got him. That's fine. We're already at 3,500. So let's turn this around. And go after that AA. I saw an AA traveling towards A. I don't know where he went. And there's still one back in spawn. Enemy also on C. So if you go for the easy ones, it'll be a nice time for you. Beautiful. Got him. Let's go for C. Something's capping it. Uh, I think he might have went down, actually. Yeah, he did. All right, good. Go back over for the side of this Sherman. No kills. Oh, a little dicey there. At least that's not another AA up, but we got two planes. So we'll go for those guys. And we're at 4,100. Any AA that spawns up like this, I'm definitely down to go after. Oh, got him right before I went down. Beautiful. So we're at 4,600 now. I mean, and we still have a tank to spawn. We still have some planes. Uh, since there are planes up, though, I'm going to go for the dub. I'm going to spawn the ersatz and go down to B. And I think the enemy team is pretty pretty done at this point. They might have a couple planes up, but it doesn't really matter. We're already in such a good sitting. Almost 5,000 score. I don't think anybody on our team is going to catch us. So we're just going to go for the dub now. Oh. Oh, I thought I was around that building. All right. All right, I'll bite. Sounds good. So we're gonna spawn the 219. Also, the planes and stuff for this lineup, it's just a concept. It doesn't really matter. You don't have to copy my lineup. You don't have to do exactly what I'm doing, but just the, the main point here is that planes will earn you more score and score gets you on top of your team. And being on top of your team will get you the most parts. I think that P47 might've crashed. Unless he's like camping the air spawn or something. Now as more and more people do this, you gotta understand that there will be more and more AA up, more and more planes up, more and more people doing the same exact thing you're doing. So just understand that. Let's go for this guy. Looks like a F6F.
And we're in a turn fight with the Dash of 6F. It's not looking too hot for us. If I'm honest. So I'm gonna go for that AA. Yeah, that guy. Alright, we got him. We're on fire now, but that's fine. Dump the rest of what I got into that guy. Send it off. And we're at 5,700 now, which is fantastic. I'm just going to spawn a Werble. It looks like we're probably going to lose this game, though. Got one of his wings. It doesn't look like he's going to... He might pull up from it. No, he died. Oh, he's going to die. Oh, wait. Maybe not. Yeah, it looks like he might go down. Oh, there we go. We created him with the right wing. Hopefully, he'll go down. I got an assist for it. It's okay. So, yeah, we've almost doubled the person right behind us. And, again, it doesn't matter win or loss. I, I don't know if there's a higher chance of getting parts if you win. There might be. But this has definitely been the method I've been using. And I think if you guys use something like this, a lineup like this, just play your heart out. You'll have a good time. It'll be an easy grind. You'll have fun. And it won't be too bad. So just, you know, take a vehicle that you like and apply this lineup ideology to it. If you don't like using planes, maybe just be an AA guy. There will definitely be a lot of planes up today in the following 10 days for this event. Because it's just downright the best way to get score. So if you can't beat them, join them. You know what they say. Nice. Took that guy out. And I've also been just not giving up today. On games like this. Instead of getting mad, I usually get mad when I lose and get mad when the teams are losing and stuff. But it ultimately doesn't matter. You'll get your wins. You'll get your losses. It's just how it's going to go. Um... I think I knocked out his gun. Alright, well, we'll keep him tracked there and just keep moving. Maybe he'll die to a plane or something. Ah, uh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Looks like we're about to get B. We might actually win this. I'm gonna park myself here. Try to shoot down some planes. At 82 or an 84 coming in. All right, take him out. Oh, whoa! Wow, good good shit on his part. I probably could have killed that guy coming around the corner. But yeah, that's uh, the end of this game. That's all she wrote. I'm just going to sit here and watch the rest of it, and then uh, we'll pop in, and I'll show you guys what I get from this. All right, so from this game, I got two crates for toolkits and a crate for um, either a part or extra toolkits. So we'll open that one first. Let's see what we get. Oh! You bastards. You bastards. <laughs> and then let's open up some of these toolkits. Oh, nice. We got a threefer. And we got another threefer. Two threefers. Nice. So that was fantastic. That's all we needed to do. So let's assemble this. That's going to take five minutes. And then we're going to have to get two more toolkits and we'll be able to assemble the controls. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully it makes your grind a little bit easier. If you're one of those people who are mad at the grind, you're saying it's unfair and stuff, just don't do it. 
it's not it's not worth spewing hate and shit it's not worth it man and uh if you're one of the people who are excited to get this vehicle potentially i wish you guys the best of luck in your grind hopefully you don't have to go against me because i will be a scumbag and shoot you down thank you all for watching peace peace